This video is about G96 and G97. G96 means we're going to use a surface speed which is designated in about G96 and G97. G96 means we're going to use a surface speed which is designated in meters per minute and G97 means we're just going to use a speed in normal RPM. So, if we type in a command G97 S1500 M3, you'll get a speed of 1500 RPM. But if you program G96 S180 M3, you're now starting your spindle at 180 meters a minute which means it will calculate its speed from where the machine is sitting at that point so that's why when you hear a CNC running a CNC lathe that is the spindle you will hear it gradually increase and decrease as the tool goes in and out as it's machining so let's watch this part machining is a big diameter part so when this part's machining when it's there on the outside it's going to be going quite slow but as we get towards the inside obviously the RPM needs to be quite fast and if you think when we get to the center the machine almost needs to be flat out and this is where a G50 would come in to clamp the speed so we've got nothing really dangerous happening there so what that demonstrates is the varying RPM as that goes in so what if we used a G97 we would have to fix that speed and obviously it wouldn't work because it would be the wrong speed for both diameters so you would probably have to compromise and use the diameter somewhere in the middle which you'd be too fast on the outside and too slow on the inside so all we need to talk about now is what's actually going on in here so what the machine's actually doing is when it's on all the different diameters it's calculating what the RPM will be as that diameter changes so inside the computer in there it's constantly looking at uh, what diameter it's at calculating the speed and obviously adjusting as it goes along so as it goes down that face you'll get a lovely finish because it's nice and smooth as the RPM increases so obviously G96 is going to be something that you're going to use most of the time on parts because generally speaking those diameters will vary uh, the only time we don't use it we don't use it obviously on drilling because we're in the center of the part and we don't use it on threading because obviously in threading it's going to be the same speed all the while but on turning we would almost always use it because that diameter varies if you've got a part that's you just turn in one diameter or something like that you might want to just lock it in at G97 with an RPM and just leave it alone but generally speaking you will use it the other thing I will say is when you send the turret home it's probably best when you get before you send the turret home to just lock it back into G97 because you don't really want the motor going up and down in RPM as your turret's going back and forward from um, its tool change position um, into cut because there's no actual reason for that so you could pitch it at like a thousand revs or something just put a G97 S1000 M3 which will start your spindle and everything and then when you get ready to come into cut that's when you apply it and when you've finished cutting you can just take it off again so what I'm going to do now is show you a few calculations which um, if you find this boring you can ignore this bit but it does show you how to calculate surface speeds 
uh, at different diameters and it will give you some idea of what the machine's doing because we end up with something like uh, 900 revs in the middle and sort of 180 revs on the outside which is a massive difference. So your surface speed in this case is 180 meters a minute. Your diameter is 300 millimeters. So the circumference is 300 times pi, 3.142, which is 942.6. Then your circumference in meters will be 942.6 divided by a thousand which will give you 0.942 then your speed in RPM will be your surface speed divided by the circumference so we've got a surface speed of 180 meters a minute we divide into that the 942 which you've got here and that gives us 191 rpm so on a 300 millimeter diameter we will get 191 rpm if our surface speed is 180 meters a minute surface speed is 180 meters a minute the diameter is 60 the circumference will be 60 times pi, which is 60 times 3.142, which is 188.52. And then your circumference in metres, which is what you want it in, because your surface speed is metres a minute, will be the 188.52 divided by 1,000, which gives you 0.188. And then the speed in RPM will be the surface speed divided by the circumference so that is the 180 meters a minute divided by the 0.188 which gives you 957 rpm so what that tells us is that if we'd actually done that calculation we'd actually have a massive difference between the start of the cut and the end of the cut so we really wouldn't be able to get the right RPM. So, in conclusion, that's why we would use G96 for a part like that. In fact, you'd use it for any part.